Hi, good morning and welcome to the day's products from Focus. So most of the news last night is actually over uh, shrinking uh, PMI figures coming out of China. Came in at 48.2 versus 49.7. Anything below 50 is a contraction. So this is just the latest in a long line of uh, quite disappointing data coming out of China that's actually impacting most other global markets as well. So looking at the US 30, you can see that we've actually had um, almost uh, this is our fourth day of, uh, of losses. We're back down to 17.747, which is a potential support level on the back of more disappointing earnings coming out of the US. I mean, the US dollar is still gaining strength, which um, many commentators are saying is obviously, obviously damaging the, um, the export potential of many US firms. And obviously when they repatriate international money back to the US, um, that results in some, some lower figures. And in fact, a lot of the earnings that have come out, a lot of people have said that there's been some very interesting accounting practices attached to taxation, uh, like basically putting the tax rate at the lowest possible rate for all these earnings. And that's why I had likes of, kind of Coca-Cola and a few of the other uh, big firms still coming out with uh, with a decent earnings per share. But I think the reality is, is that some of these firms are just not hitting the targets as much as uh, uh, the uh, traders would like. So where we are with the UK 100, um, similar picture to US 30, but a little bit weaker because we burn trading near historic highs. Um, we've had uh, advancing negative candles. We're down again today. Um, intraday wise, we're just kind of bouncing off an intraday low. Uh, but this kind of looks vulnerable at the moment. 65.89 is the next potential support. We've almost oh, yeah. got a negative cross on the MACD, and in fact, we do have a, a negative cross on the slow stochastic there as well. Well, moving on to Japan, uh, China's impacted Japan uh, stock index a little bit. Dollar yen's actually not doing a huge amount, even though the dollar's been gaining strength. Uh, Bank of Japan Governor Kuroda has basically poo pooed any concept of uh, additional QE, which is strengthening the yen ever so slightly, and obviously in terms of uncertainty as well. People are buying the yen. They're not the gold right now is just not flavor of the month at all. So people aren't buying gold to, to hedge against uncertainty. They're just buying Japanese yen. And what we're seeing is the Japan 225 just grind down that little bit lower with um, 20,087 still being longer term potential support. We've been down there before. Uh, we could get extra additional support from these two moving averages as well. We've almost got a negative crossover in the MACD and uh, we're certainly overbought on the slow stochastic. So a lot of technical signals indicating that Japan 225 could be under pressure. So moving on to dollar yen then, uh, more like kind of consolidating close below 124, spot 42. Uh, it's been sideways the last couple of days as well, looking at the interday charts. Um, and that's not to say just because they're not going to do QE in, uh, in Japan that dollar can't gain that momentum to bust up through there, but it's been trying the last number of sessions to uh, to get up through there without much success. Moving on to West Texas crude, still moving lower. Uh, global demand fears, China slow down, etc., etc. Stronger U.S. dollar, um, Iranian nuclear deal. Take your pick for all these different factors. Um, now that we're trading below 49, uh, you probably could be looking at the tip of this candle down here, close to about 45 spot 80 as being the next potential support. Then followed by that, you're looking at a move back, a sub move back down towards um, 40 and change, so maybe 43 spot 30. So then moving on to gold, uh, gold is quite close to reaching the tip of this low point that we reached on the, the mini flash crash on Monday. We're actually away from the session lows, but if you look at these long legged candles, pressure is certainly there. We are massively oversold now on gold, but the fundamentals are, are, are stamping down on here. Uh, longer term potential support is at 1046. Uh, but we do, we will have short-term potential support at the tip of Monday's candle, which is around about uh, 10.73. So, in fact, I'm just going to get my drawing tool out here, there, just now, and that's kind of roughly where we are. And we'll come back to that in the next couple of sessions, probably next week. And then we finish up with your dollar and GBP USD. So. Um, I think longer term euro dollar, the, the trend is still looking quite quite negative, but it's managed to rebound the last couple of sessions. Yesterday was surprisingly strong. Uh, could be capped by that 50, 21 period SMA, sorry, uh, which would be quite close to one spot 11, which is longer term potential resistance. Longer term potential support is at one spot 0786 followed by one spot 0524. We do have a bullish cross on the MACD though, that could add a little bit of extra momentum to the upside. Uh, and we're quite close to being oversold in the slow stochastic, even though we are ticking up a little bit just now. Uh, but yet yeah, the signal to, uh, to buy has not kind of really entered the market yet. But it still, still looks to be in a potential downtrend at the moment. Uh, only if we break above one spot 11 do things maybe change, because then we'd be above both moving averages as well. So moving on to GBP USD, uh, very negative day yesterday, bearish and golfing pattern, lower again today, trading below both moving averages. One spot 54.24 is a potential support. All the other technicals are relatively neutral. MACD is just crossing the zero line. 
Um, so there certainly looks to be pressure on on, uh, on cable as well. And uh, that candle yesterday is uh, is not too friendly looking. Uh, long legged candle at the top, so it was positive, got pushed right back down again, and uh, closed towards the end of its uh, its daily range. Uh, to finish the day, so not not so great. So we go back on the Thursday where we had we had retail sales that came out way worse than expected. That's probably the reason why. Uh, if we have a look at the economic data from today, uh, as I mentioned, PMI from China is the, is kind of the story that a number of traders are talking about at the moment. Um, you've got German PMI, Eurozone PMI uh, due later on today from market, and then if we fast forward onto Monday, we've got. Um, the business survey IFO business expectations index and durable goods from the US and that one's going to be an important one uh, for people who are trading cable or euro dollar and if you're trading anything that's sensitive to US rates because people will be looking at that again for, for clues as to the strength of the US economy so as ever guys keep your eye on the chart forum make insights part of that going forward and join me again tomorrow uh, not tomorrow on Monday to find out what happened next